Okay, uh, this is a tutorial in piano inversions with the right hand. We're using our thumb, which is finger one, our middle finger, finger three, and our pinky, which is finger five. One, three, five. This is what's called root position. So I'm playing C in root position. Okay. The next inversion, what I'm going to do is take this C from the bottom and put it on the top. So uh, I do that, and it'll, and and what I'm going to do with my fingers is play this with finger one, finger two, which is pointer finger on G, and then finger five on the C up here. Okay. So again, root position, and then first inversion. And then for the second inversion, I take that E off the bottom and put it up here on top. So I'm going to do this with fingers 1, 3, and 5, like this. 1, 3, and 5. Right? Again, root position. First inversion, 1, 2, 5. Second inversion, I go back to 1, 3, and 5, but I'm scooched over a little bit here. If you notice, if I put my fingers all together for root position, they're all together. For the other uh, inversions, they're scooched over one. So this is first inversion. My second finger is scooched over one. It's not here, but here. And that sets up the rest of the hand for the inversion. And again, with second inversion, I'm scooched over. If I put my fingers just down naturally where they fall, there's, one in, there's a f key in between my thumb and my pointer finger. And I'm using one, three, and five for my second inversion. Now you can use the same pattern with all the chords. So far we've studied the white key chords uh, and so we'll do those. This is D, one, three, five, and then first inversion, second inversion. So you notice here I have a black key in the middle 1, 3, 5. Now, since I'm moving up, that black key is going to be on the bottom and the D is going to be on top. Okay, and now I'm moving the black key to the top. If you learn these two chords, C, which is all white keys, it's a straight chord, and the triangle chord, see my fingers make a triangle, D, those two chords, all the other ones are going to feel just like that. So all the triangles are going to feel the same. The D, the E, E is going to feel just the same under your fingers as D. And so will A. We're just doing major chords right now. So but the same would go for the minors. Okay, so um, E, D, and A are the triangle chords. They're all going to feel the same under your fingers. And then for the uh, major chords, for the white key chords, would be C, F, and G. Those are all going to feel the same, too. All right? So that's your first step with inversions. And I, uh, then one thing I want you to do after you can do this, Mary... What I want you to do is practice, is you keep going up like this. And then do it again. Just do the same thing up here. And so on. And then come back down. You keep going up and down the piano as far as you can. Going down is going to be a challenge when you first start doing it. But it will be very helpful. Etc. Okay? And do the same thing with these guys. Go up and down. Okay, practice doing that. You can also do them as broken chords, which means playing them one note at a time, like this. And coming down. Sometimes this is actually easier than playing it. Because you're kind of walking your fingers. Okay? I'm doing it very fast. You'll be going a lot slower when you start out. So these are ways to get these inversions under your fingers so you start to recognize them. Even if you play in a chord that's an inversion like that, 
you'll know all the, oh, that's F, because you'll understand what that feels like. Right? That's enough for that one. Uh -huh.